And we're going to start with our land acknowledgement and Director Houston will read it. Thank you. So we acknowledge that we are on land and surrounded by water originally inhabited by Indigenous peoples who have traveled this area since time immemorial. This territory is within the lands honored by the Wampum Treaties, agreements between the Anishinaabe, Haudenosaunee, Lene Lenape, and the Allied Nations to peacefully share and care for the resources around the Great Lakes. Specifically, we would like to acknowledge the presence of the Three Fires Confederacy, Ojibwa, Odawa, Potawatomi, and the Huron Wendats peoples. We are dedicated to honoring Indigenous history and culture while remaining committed to moving forwards respectfully with all First Nation, Inuit, and Métis. Thank you. So attendance in person, we have Trustee Sipkar, Trustee uh, LeClaire, myself, and um, we have uh, Trustee McKinley, Trustee Buckler, Trustee Chin, Trustee Hatfield, Trustee Burgess, and student trustee Colin virtually. And we have regrets from uh, Trustee Armstrong, Trustee Nelson. Trustee Nelson. Student trustee Sarum is there? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Um, approval of agenda. Trustee LeClaire, Trustee Sipkar. Uh, any declaration of conflict of interest? So I'm going to move down to new business E1, amend board governance bylaw article 8.20, scrutineers, that the board governance bylaw article 8.2 be amended to read that the board's external auditors serve as scrutineers for the elections. Can I have somebody, Trustee LeClaire, Trustee Sipkar? Any discussion on that? I have my hand up. I have my hand up. Uh, yeah, um, Trustee Burgess, then Trustee McKinley. Thanks, Madam Chair. Um, I support the the uh, amendment. I'm just wondering if the auditors aren't available, what's the alternate? Do we have any other plan? Because if we put it, enshrine it as it is in the, in the bylaws, there's no other thing than the external auditors, of which I think we only have, what, two? Yes. yes. Do we have any discussion around that? Um, Absolutely right. I, could, I could suggest an amendment. Would you like to make an amendment, Trustee Burgess? Be amended to read. Well, I I, I oh. don't have a, an alternate because I don't know another two that that are external that are, you know arm's length, but no board business that can act as scrutineers. So um, the only amendment would be possibly uh, or other non-board employees or something. But I, to me, it, it fits perfectly for November 21st. If we've already got the, you know, everybody's good. But um, if anybody gets ill or whatever, I just don't know what plan B is. Thanks. I believe that... Our uh, Superintendent Armstrong found out today that one of them is not available with the date change. Well, I don't, did so, everyone hear that? that yeah, I heard that. Okay, so everybody, one of the scrutineers is not available for our oh. board meeting. Oh, did we just find Trustee, that out? Just. Um, Trustee McKinley, you had your hand up. Well, my question was to whether or not they were both available for next week. Um, okay. So I already received my answer on that one. Okay. I'm almost positive. <laughs> All right. Anyone else have any questions or comments? Uh, can I propose an amendment or there is an amendment in yes. the making? So no, so can... I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying to toggle between two things and not use my internet because I'm in a place where there's kind of sketchy internet. So, or slow at least. Um, but... If we could say that, the, what is it, the two external members of the audit committee or or suitable non-employee alternates? Yeah. Well, that's perfect. Yeah. Um, okay, so we have that the board's external auditors serve as scrutineers for the elections or suitable non-board employees. Alternates. Or alternates. As alternates, yes. 
Do I have um? Do I have a mover? No. Um, I would move that well, amendment. Julie, do I have I'll, a seconder? I'll second it. Okay, Trustee Sipkar had her hand up, so Trustee Sipkar will second that. Any discussion on that amendment, Trustee yeah. Sipkar? Yeah, I was just going to, it, following Trustee Burgess's amendment, suggest that maybe we ask um, maybe one of the two members of the audit committee who will sit as external members who are on board employees, um, our legal counsel. I didn't know if we needed to enshrine who that person would be or if we can just investigate a few other options as alternates. Kind of a question to maybe Trustee Hatfield and or administration on this. Mm -hmm. Trustee Hatfield? So, so I, I believe that our uh, legal counsel can also sit as a scrutineer. Sure. Um, just mm -hmm. because they're legal counsel. Um, but I think that we should just go a little step further that if we're going to suggest the board's uh, two external um, uh, audit committee members or alternate, if they're not available, one or either is not available, to be determined by somebody. Somebody ah. has to make that decision on who the appropriate alternative alternate would be the director i'm just saying that should be added do you want to uh, uh, i'm sorry trustee support no, i say i'd support that sorry. okay so added to the amendment is an amendment to say that the alternates would be assigned by the director okay it has to be I got my hand up. Go ahead, Trustee Burgess. Well, the whole idea was that uh, the influence shouldn't come from within the organization. So I'm wondering if the audit committee members be the ones who, since they're arm's length and they know if they're not available to get somebody or, or whatever, we would, like, I, I like the idea of legal counsel, there's an arm's length there, even though there's a contract and and billable hours, it's not an employee. I, I just I hesitate with naming any employee if the idea of the legal counsel was that no employee should have an influence on who the scrutineers are. Right. So, um, oh, so may I? <laughs> OK, now I'm going to let Trustee LeClaire speak first. So I, I guess the difficulty with the fact that if, if we're relying on volunteer members of the audit committee um, that aren't able to attend, and then we're somehow asking them to find somebody that's suitable um, to to attend, I don't know what, what our mechanism is if somebody doesn't show up that night. Um, so I do support the thought that somebody has to be tagged in to be that person to make sure that we have um, uh, scrutineers. And I think the most appropriate person is our only employee, and that would be the director, um, to um, ensure that we have suitable arm's length people in the absence of the audit community members. Call my friend Adam. Okay, so what's on the floor right now is, and I'm just going to read it so everybody knows where we're at, especially myself, that the board's uh, external auditors serve as scrutineers for the elections or suitable non-employee alternates to be determined by the director of education. Yes. The support for that. So that's what's on the floor right now. The support. Oh, we're not doing support yet, but I appreciate that. Um, any other questions or comments? Uh, Trustee Hatfield. <laughs> Thank you. What we're trying to do here is just to set us up ourselves up so that we could do this well for next week. And then the when the whole bylaw reviews process is completed, you'll be probably getting some more polished language. But for now, we're just trying to get through um, to make, you know, something that wasn't quite right, make it better. <laughs> and uh, I think we're headed in that right direction. 
uh, as best we can. And, um, you know, through no fault of those two members, you know, that the date had to be changed. In the future, those um, members would know a year in advance. Uh, so it might not be so problematic, but I think really we don't need to be caught up in the language so much um, this time round because it's going to come up again before next year and we could have it all polished up by then. Well, I trust you have to go back here. Um, Trustee uh, McKinley, then Trustee Burgess, then we're going to bring it to the floor. Trustee yeah, um, I would say the same thing. I think do we do need to then trust the director to get our second scrutineer for next week? At this point, we only have the one, correct? Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, I think I can, I'll trust the director to find a suitable out of our board person that can count to 10. Um, I'm sure there's, I'm sure there's plenty of people that uh, we can get to do that. And I think it probably won't be a problem in the future because we'll have plenty of advance notice at which time a director could tell us that we do or don't for the following year have somebody for that night and we can uh, deal with it then. Trustee Burgess. Thanks. I support it as it is, knowing that it'll get uh, polished. The only thought I would say is that we have other committees that have external non-board employees like uh, GECPIC, like SEAC, uh, et cetera, that have already been vetted, understand the business of the board, but are external to the organization. So that might be a well that we can go into and, you know, fine-tune fine, fine -tune it down the road. But I support the motion and I'm yep. good to go. Yeah. Yep. All right. Uh, go ahead, Trustee Hatfield, then that's it. Then we're going to vote. Okay. Just a quick last uh, suggestion is we also do have um, retired external members of the audit committee that we could probably reach out to as well. All righty. Um, so does anybody need this motion read again? All in favor? Support. Support. Support, Support Burgess. Thank you. That passes. Thank you. I am now going to adjourn this meeting. Thank you. Thanks for.